we now want to have a look at the problem that we're going to have our investigation question so in our PPDAC cycle the first step of that is our problem so we're going to look at the different types of investigations that we could do um, in order to know what type that we need to do for this assessment because there are other assessments that we'll do later this year that will use these different types we'll also look at how to write an investigation question and there's some specific details that we have to have so we'll start by looking at some different types of investigations so we could have data that is univariate okay the word uni means one so it's talking about one variable all right so just looking at one variable it could be qualitative or quantitative so here's a little example of an eye color graph and they just ask people one question what color is your eyes and they happen to have recorded that information as a table so that's in a, in a, an example of a univariate investigation is just doing one question one variable that you're interested in which is the eye color a second type is our bivariate and when we've got bi the word bi means two so like bicycle uh, means two wheels so bivariate is we're looking at two variables and we're looking for a relationship between those now one of those variables must be continuous and the other one could be either discrete or continuous as long as it's quantitative as long as it's a number so you must have two variables that are both numbers and one of those numbers must be a measurement and so that leads to an investigation like the kind of graph that we see here where you've got one variable the husband's age along one axis and this one you've got the wife's age up the other axis you've got two variables husband's age wife's age and they're both numbers okay so that would be an example of a bivariate investigation the one that we're going to be doing for this this particular standard is multivariate and so in a multivariate one we're looking at comparing something so we need to have two variables now one of those variables is going to be a qualitative so one of them is going to be a talking about groups so you might be comparing um, eye color you might be comparing gender you might be comparing ethnicities you might be comparing whether you're a smoker or a non-smoker it's any kind of variable that is a group the other variable must be quantitative so it must be number and so that's going to lead to this kind of thing here and um, there's an example there we're comparing our year nines and our year tens and looking at what distance they travel to get to school okay so that's our multivariate which we're going to go into in more detail so let's have a look at some examples this is an example of a summary question. I wonder how many students at OSC have a cell phone in 2017. So it's just looking at one variable. How many of them have a cell phone? That's all I'm going to be asking people is, do you have a cell phone? Okay, that's univariate. Here's an example of a bivariate or relationship question. So first of all, we usually see that word relationship in the question, which is a giveaway. Um, but let's look in detail out the variables and it's talking about is there a relationship between the number of hours students study for and the number of credits that they get so that's giving us our two variables the number of hours they study and the number of credits they get so that makes it bivariable two variables and here's an example of a multivariate or comparison question we are looking to compare the girls and the boys so that's our qualitative variable we're comparing girls and boys and we're going to ask them and find out from them how many credits they each have so these are two variables one of them is what gender they are the other variable is how many credits they have so let's have a look at what specifically we need to have in an investigation question so these are the things you have to have if you've missed any of these ones we will ask you to rewrite your question and if you still can't answer the question then that may you will fail the standard so you have to have a quantitative variable so that could be the number of hours studying or the number of credits or how many minutes you talk on a cell phone for okay so, so either a discrete or continuous number but something that you're measuring or counting okay we need to have units so are you talking about the distance are you talking about a weight are you talking about the time what are the units of the, the variable that you've got we need to know what your two groups are so this is your qualitative groups okay are we comparing people with brown eyes with those with blue eyes are we comparing males with females are we comparing smokers and non-smokers what are the two groups that we want to compare 
Then we talk about our population. So who is that population we're interested in? Are we interested in just in teenagers in New Zealand? Are we just interested in teenagers at OSC? Who are the group of people that we're interested in? We need this word tends, and this comes from an idea about central tendency, where the centre tends to be. Because I'm not, if I'm thinking about heights of students, I know that there's going to be a very a short student and a very tall student, and then a bunch of students in between them. And when I'm comparing one group with another group, I'm not worried about whether one student is taller or smaller than the other. I want to know where's the middle students, what's the height of the middle group of students? And that's why we're looking for this idea of tendency. We're saying, I wonder where the middle group is. Not the shortest or the tallest, but the middle group. That's the part, that's the group that I'm interested in. That's going to give me enough evidence of where that middle group is. And the other thing we need to know is what direction. Okay, do we think one group is going to be bigger or smaller than the other group? What do we expect to happen? So let's have a look at an example. So this example here talks about, I wonder if students who catch the bus tend to take longer and minutes to travel to school than students who walk for high school students in New Zealand for data from census at school in 2015. So let's check and see, has it got all the parts that it needs? Well, first of all, it's talking about the um, time to travel to school and it's given us the units of that. So there's our quantitative variable, the travelling time, and it's got the units of it. We then need to think about, right, who are the groups? And I want to talk about the group who catches the bus to school and the group of students who walk to school. So there's my qualitative. I've got my two groups there. I want to also think about what direction, and I think the students that catch the bus will take longer to get to school than those that walk. And I might not find that there is any evidence of this. That might be completely wrong. But to start with, I'm going to suggest that the people who catch the bus will be long, taking longer to get to school. And my reasoning behind that might be that if they're catching the bus, they probably live further away. And then I also have my population here. It's got high school students in New Zealand for data from census at school in 2015. So I've defined that population. And there is my magic word, tens. Okay, so we need to have that. So this has got all of those different components in it that we need to have. And when you write your investigation questions, these are the things you need to think about.